please request Sri Bonnie Kapoor to kindly share his thoughts with us on this occasion. Well, probably this was a sign for me to be very, very brief. <laughs> the microphone itself has got enough of uh, knowledge, history, and the future talk from Stalbert sitting here on the dais. Well, I welcome all of you. For me, this is the first time I I am attending this kind of an event here in India, and I'm really enlightened and happy to see the kind of growth various you know vendors are coming up. Should, should I call them vendors? Huh? Partners. Partners, okay. Well, there's a growth on all fronts, and there is growth where box office is also concerned. We've had. We've had a dip in 20 and 21, 22 onwards. We've we've leap, we are trying to leap to the original levels of box office numbers. Mr. Alok had all the numbers. I don't have the numbers. But as I stand here today, I'm happy to feel and happy to convey that we are on the cusp of bigger things where box office is concerned. At this very point, we have a blockbuster Punjabi film, Carry On Jatta 3 doing a business of 100 crores, which was never for a Punjabi film. We've had, we've had Triple R in 22, we've had Pushpa in 22, we've had Vikram in Tamil, we had PS1, PS2 in, uh, in Ta uh, Tamil, Pathan in uh, Hindi, and of late, a couple of films have done well, I, I think, Rocky and Rani Ki Prem Kahani, before that uh, there was another film of Vicky and uh, Trina. Well, whatever. There are films and there's a film with Mithun which has done very well in Bengal, which means there are good amount of footfalls coming and good content definitely has the audience there for them. We should not be really overtly worried about the new verticals. In fact, the new verticals are providing us more funds to make films more elaborately and perhaps you know give the experience as never seen before i mean like was the case in triple r like was the case in bahubali like was the case in vikram ps1 ps2 and pathan in hindi and several other films i may, you know miss out on a few films it's thanks to this vertical that this there is an enhancement of spend on the films that one is making <laughs> which is a very good sign. And I'm sure the kind of film which have been lined up, I'm told, I, I got in here last night, I'm told in Chennai city, jail is going to be releasing in perhaps all the cinemas. I think the number was 390, which I was given. It is releasing and the first day sold out in every, every theater. And likewise in the entire Tamil Nadu, it is releasing in over thousand screens, which, which only augurs well for the box office. So this kind of craze, remains, you know, if you have a content, if you have a film with all the right packaging, things can, like for instance, the Kannada picture Kantara did so well in spite of having no big, not so very big names. The actor was fairly new, if I'm right. Kantara, am I right about the actor in Kantara? Was, was that his first film or? Huh? Okay, whatever. The fact is that did huge business, not just in uh, Kannada language, it did good business even in Hindi, Hindi belt. And the good thing happening these days, which I have uh, seen and I'm sure everybody also is experiencing and seeing that there is a proper integration of talent from all the industries, you know, probably coming on a film together. You know, earlier we had only some heroines, selected heroines who would work in Tamil, Telugu, South Indian films. Today we have not just the heroines, but even the support actors, the villains. For instance, Pahat Fasal is doing films across all the languages. He originally is from Kerala doing Malayalam films, but today he does Tamil films, Telugu films, and I'm sure one day he will do a Hindi film too. Likewise, Sanjay Dutt is doing some good work in South films. There are many others. So this was not the case earlier. And at the same time, we have South actors working in Hindi film. You, know, you have a junior NTR who just committed to do a film for Yashraj, which 
which is a very, very big film and that really augurs well for the other actors here in South to make a mark in the Hindi film industry. So all in all, I feel we are in good space. Things will only improve from here as the numbers suggest. I have uh, my best wishes here for all the providers of, uh, uh, I mean, Christie's and you, you should buy after company ka kya naam hai? Galalite. I'm sorry for this, this kind of a <laughs> ignorance with the names. But then I think all my colleagues here on this platform have spoken enough about all what is happening and on all what is waiting to happen. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening, pleasant day, and pleasant memories of this event, which I'm attending for the first time and I'm thoroughly enjoying and gathering information on all what is happening on exhibition front because exhibition happens to be the first revenue as you know re the, it was the first revenue making uh, uh, aspect of film for film producers today that is growing along with the other verticals such as ott satellite even the audio rights have gone up but at the same time the exhibitors i must congratulate them I feel proud of them, how they've maintained their cinema halls, thanks to the multiplexes which have spread all over the country. The single screen theatres also have done very well, they've maintained the theatres. So this just shows it's not, that's not just a business aspect for them. It is their passion which is making them maintain the theatres in spite of this COVID while the cinema halls were closed. They've opened up and they've opened up in better shape. And I hope this continues. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sure we're all delighted and inspired by your words. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a huge round of applause for Sri Bani Kapoor. Very good morning to all. Uh, it's, it's looking good that so many people have come at this early morning with that a lot of traffic outside the metro work and sorry for any inconvenience. So I welcome you all to the Big Cine Expo 2023 the sixth edition of the premium international trade show and convention in India. The show has always struck potential to bridge the knowledge gap, especially now when the industry is in need of a boost. The exhibitors' constant urge to improvise the presentation quality has always made the room for innovations regardless of a multiplex or a single screen, making it premium cinema and a wholesome experience for the process. I am deeply honored today to have the gracious presence of Sri Boni ji, uh, Mugesh ji, uh, Alok sir. Alok sir supported our expo for all six years and he is the first uh, multiplex to support us. And again, uh, Mr. Yusuf, he also supports us very long. And he is the largest screen suppliers in India. So being uh, the largest screen suppliers and he supports with the screens and uh, the very, very good friend. And I've also had the best wishes of uh, my founder, uh, Mr. Sandeep Nittal. And a special thanks to all my sponsors like IMAX, uh, Christie, Cube Cinema, GM Audio, Galalite Screens. And I thank all the multiplex partners and all other partners here at the trade show floor. So this two, this Two-day event this year comes with power pack panel discussion, insightful presentations, movie screenings, much-awaited promos and trailers and a mega walk through the trade show with lot of products, networking opportunities waiting for you. I wish all the visitors to experience every bit of this show and take back lots from here. I wish all the delegates and exhibitors better business prospect and hereby extend my RTS regards to all of you. Thank you and welcome again to the Big Cine Expo. I now call Alok sir to give the keynote. Good morning everyone. I am truly honoured to be here for the 6th edition of the Big Cine Expo. It's also indeed a privilege for us to have industry stalwarts like Mr. Boni Kapoor and Mr. Mukesh Bhatt with us today. And also Yusuf with us on stage who's done great where the screens are concerned and supplying that all over the country to all the chains in our, in our country. Over the years, the platform which has been curated by the team of Theatre World has only grown better and bigger. And today, it's the most sought-after sought event 
for cinema exhibiting all cinema exhibitors across the country as well as all the stakeholders who are involved in this business. Raghav, my congratulations to you and your team on the sixth edition. And I'm very sure that this edition will bring in more opportunities to know what's happening in the business of cinema exhibition and also what's happening in the Indian film industry with more knowledge sharing sessions as well as networking opportunities to learn and grow from the best in the field. Friends, it's always said that crisis reveals the true identity or the true character of an identity. And I can very proudly say that the greatness of the Indian cinema industry has truly got revealed in the last three years. While the great Indian cinema market has faced numerous, numerous challenges in its 100-year-old history, uh, be it, as I was discussing with Mukesh Ji just now, be the advent of color television, satellite television, VCRs, DVD, and various other formats. But what it went through COVID was absolutely unimaginable. And I can surely say that that was the toughest period of our entire history. But we all passed it with flying colors, which just goes to prove that the strong foundation on which this industry is built. And today, when I look at the success of the Indian film industry, the manner in which we all have innovated, the manner in which we all have fought back into the hearts and the minds of our consumers and the Indian movie lovers speaks about the greatness of this industry. And each one of us sitting in this room, I would say, has played a part in it. Cinemas today remain the number one out-of-home entertainment option in India and this is reflected in the fascinating numbers we have to prove that. Our country's population is full of millennials and Gen Zs and today we have 65% of our population below the age of 35. The consumer segment is not only earning well but is also spending well and this is on putting India on track to become a $5 trillion economy. We, as a country, continue to produce about 1,800 films annually in 20 different languages, and that caters to diverse tastes across India. We continue to add screens week after week and month after month, and though we are still under screen, I'm very hopeful a time will come when we have adequate screens per million population. We all know in 2020, our cash registers stopped ringing. The revenues became zero, but slowly we pulled back. And in 2022, we surpassed $1.3 billion in box office. And this showcases not only the industry's resilience, but also the consumer's appetite. Looking ahead, I'm very hopeful that we will continue growing. Our revenues, if I'm right, will be anything between 2.3 to 2.5 billion dollars in the next couple of years. And these numbers which we are getting at the box office is a result of the soaring footfalls. India used to sell about 1.35 billion tickets every year before COVID. Came 2020, everything went to zero. But then what happened? Slowly we inched our way back. In 2021, we sold 40 crore tickets, which is about 0.4 billion tickets. But by 2022, we were at 1 billion tickets. And I'm very hopeful that in the next couple of years, if not this year only, we will go back to 1.35 billion tickets, if not more. And what drives this mass hysteria? Well, for me, there's only one thing, which is content. And today we have, I think we all should applaud the content creator fraternity who makes it possible to churn out good stories, movie after movie after movie. They make compelling content and this is what's happened to the Indian film industry despite the production supply chain facing challenges after COVID. So all our movies which have come up 
after COVID have done well. Every movie or movies in every language have broken records and people today are thronging back to the theatres. For me, I think this is also the most opportune moment or the most opportune time to speak about how linguistic categorization of content is breaking barriers across the country. How the Indian fans have broken the shackles and are running to the theatres for an unadulterated cinematic experience regardless of the language. And I think we can attribute this to two things. One is the content creators have started dubbing movies in other Indian languages apart from which it was shot. Number two, the content, as I said, has become very, very compelling. Next, the Indian population holds massive aspirations to remain connected with the rest of the world and yearns to learn more about other cultures, which is also increasing the appetite for good quality content. The use of technology, I think, uh, cannot be put aside. Because of technology, we are able to show movies in more than one language. Technology has helped us in production, post-production, special effects, distribution, and it's helped us in exhibition. The various cinema viewing technologies like IMAX are also contributing phenomenally towards the increasing popularity of content across languages. I would say that India's linguistic diversity has opened doors to explore that movies made in different languages have enabled the producers, the content creators to tap untapped market and cater to a broader audience. One thing which surprises me, and, and I noticed it when I joined the industry, I would say two decades back, is that we employ people from every skill set. Today, from creative minds who create the best of content, to technology experts, to f and specialists, design and architectural geniuses, to engineering mavericks, to marketing heroes, to programming masterminds, from media planners to astute real estate champions, I think we have them all in our industry. And that's a great sign. We believe in diversity and we thrive on diversity and synergy of these varied skills. And we take pride in fostering a collaborative environment that nurtures talent and creativity. As an industry, we employ lakhs of people and if I look at indirect employment, it's, it's many, many times more. So today this industry is a place where people from any skill set can come and earn a living for themselves and make the industry proud. Friends, as I finish my address, I would like to thank each one of you, all the dignitaries present here, and more importantly, every single colleague of ours at the, sh of ours at the shop floor who has made this industry what it is today and what a wonderful place it is. We have demonstrated resilience. We have demonstrated adaptability. We have demonstrated courage. And we have shown the world what passion and innovation can do. I'm sure we will continue to adapt to the changing landscape and consumer demands because we have to give what the consumer demands, not what we want. I would say, let us continue to contribute to the future of the cinema with passion and with dedication. Let us use a lot of technology. Let's make our cinemas more relevant and experiential. And technology, yes, to a certain extent, but let's use more of emotions. That's how I would like to see the industry. Raghav, congratulations once again for putting up this great show and I'm very hopeful that this will be better and bigger than the earlier five editions. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen, for brilliant introductions and for making us all all the more excited to see how this event unfolds.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a huge round of applause for Sri Yusuf S. Ghalabaiwala, Director of Galilite Screens, who will address the audience. Let's give him a huge round of applause, please. Uh, a very warm welcome and pleasant good morning to everyone. I'm delighted to stand before you all at the prestigious Big Senior Expo 2023. It gives me the utmost pleasure to represent Galalite on such an esteemed platform for the fifth year in a row. Amongst the best professionals in the industry. I cannot thank Raghav and his team at Network 208 enough for this platform and event which is growing year on year. Having to work so closely with Raghav, I actually know the kind of hard work, love and dedication uh, he and his team put behind this show. It truly feels wonderful to be back. Now, without taking a lot of your time, I simply want to thank the Indian cinema industry. A little over 10 years ago, Indian cinema owners had a choice of whether to let a multinational cinema screen manufacturer enter the market or to support an Indian manufacturer. I think the choice is pretty evident since I'm standing here on this platform before you, thanking you. It was the trust of Indian cinema owners that has made us who we are today and I'm sure you are proud of your choice. We've taken the trust, worked hard to build excellent products that enhance the experience of your cinemas and we will continue to do so. Because of you, we are now a globally recognized brand and you'd be happy to know that now we are also one of the world's first cinema screen manufacturer to have a completely sustainable manufacturing plant. As we continue to upgrade your cinema viewing experience in the last year, we decided to upgrade our manufacturing plant. So now we completely recycle and reuse all the waste from our factory. And when I say the word completely, I mean even the contaminated air goes through filters and is reused back in our factory. And you'll be happy to know with this milestone we have set another standard for environmental responsibility in the cinema screen industry. Once again, we extend our deepest gratitude for the unwavering support of the Indian cinema fraternity to want to choose us. So thank you for upgrading to Galalite. We promise to exceed your expectations and make a difference in your cinema goals and we hope to continually display our gratitude through the superiority of our products. Thank you. Thank you Sri Yusuf Kalabai Bala for sharing your valuable thoughts and views with us. And now ladies and gentlemen, may I please invite Sri Mukesh Bhatt, film producer, to kindly say a few words. Nice to be on this uh, platform of exhibition sector, the big city expo. Cinema is something uh, which I, I've fortunately been born into. My father came into the business in 1928 when our film industry was a silent era. So we as a family from silent era, black and white to talkie, black and white to color, to Dolby, to 3D, we, have, we take pride to say we have done it all. As content providers, we have played a very important role in every path-breaking journey the film industry has taken in the last five or six decades. Having said that, I want to say something on a bigger picture. Cinema is an experience of going out on big screen and enjoying, not on small screen, that's, that's television. We need, as a production sector and as an exhibition sector, to have more 
compact interactions on quite a regular uh, framework of uh, time to see what we can collaborate together to make the cinema going experience more enjoyable to our consumer, that's the audience. With the onset of technology, the OTT platforms have come and uh, let me be very blunt to say that a lot of content creators are now thinking what to make for the OTT platform and not for the man there who buys his ticket and goes and sits in a cinema hall. And I think that's a big blunder, that's a big tragedy that's happening today. And I want to raise this on this platform because it's very important for us to understand that we need to connect more with more energy and you know force with the man who sits and occupies the seat bumps. We are somewhere losing touch with him and that's very scary. Cinema is an experience, especially in our country, where we, it's the cheapest form of entertainment even today. People need to go out with their families and get entertained. We owe it to our audiences as filmmakers, as the exhibition sectors. You all need to enhance the cinema going experience at the best competitive cost. How we can come together? Me from the production sector to give good content. The idea is not to make big movies, but idea is to make big ideas for the big screen. That is the Guru Mantra for tomorrow, which I would like all of you to think about. Because ultimately, you don't get 100% marks for good handwriting. You need to get 100% marks for good content. We should concentrate on disruptive content which can stir the hearts of every human being who comes and purchases that ticket. We are a distillery of human emotions. We are dream merchants. We need to entertain the 1.4 crore uh, billion people in this country, the largest population in the world. I'm so happy that IMAX is here and I would request IMAX to have not for 24 screens in our country, but have 240 screens. That, that is the future. India needs IMAX on a much larger scale, not only in the metros, but in the tier two and tier three also. Let that happen. India is growing at a very fast pace. We need to take the cinema going experience to another level. And it is possible. We have to have the will to do it. We have to make the film for the man who buys a ticket and sits in a cinema hall and not sitting in the house and watching a television on the television set. We owe it to them to go out and get entertained. It's high time we get up and start working towards it. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for truly inspiring us with your words, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a huge round of applause for Sri Mukesh Bhatt. And now, as a token of our gratitude and appreciation to every dignitary present on the dais, may I please request Raghav to kindly present mementos to felicitate all our chief guests on stage today. We are immensely grateful and thankful to all of you for taking our time to be here with us on this. Well, it's a wonderful experience to be here, Big Cine Expo. This is the first time I'm visiting this kind of a get together. It's a collection of I mean, all the things which go into the exhibition of films. I'm surprised with the kind of uh, passion all these products, people behind these products have. This is what improves the quality of films which are seen in the theatres. And I hope they continue to innovate. Good sound, better sound always makes the viewing of the film much better. Picture quality also, they have 4K screens and the seats which I've seen out here, they're also very comfortable. 
I had not slept well last night. If I had sat there for another two minutes, I would have gone to sleep. They are so comfortable. Popcorn. Ah, and the popcorn. The American seed which is now grown in India. Very good. Those chilli rings also were very good. And of course, you guys have been very cooperative, very supportive. I'm sorry I've had to ask people to leave the theatre because the, the clip that I showed was not finished. I hope you understand and uh, forgive me for this. My band will release soon, this year. We are just waiting for some VFX portions to be done. It will be done soon. And then we... Next Tamil film planning. Hero. Huh? I am Hero. <laughs> A great uh, function as always. I think this will be better than the previous five editions. And I really wish Raghav and the team, everybody over here, all the very best and they will continue to do such conventions year after year on a much larger and a grandeur scale. Thank you. Uh, the Big Cine Expo is the order of the edition. Right? Every year, Pandra is Mumbai, Chennai, Mumbai, Chennai. Right? This is the all theater, uh, cinema theater, on the equipment, uh, the display, pangongo, distribution, malls, uh, single screen, multiplex. Then, uh, there uh, panel discussions, product presentation. Product India, India land product made in India products. Or foreign products, imported products. All display are there. In the cinema theater, what are the available? And the equipment is all available. Last year, last year, in the year, what is special about India? Last year, when the pandemic, Corona, Anna, Parka, when that, when the cinema industry down there, Rinchi. Now, when the cinema industry, or peak there. Now, you see, you go up to June. When the, that one, when the down there, Rinchi. Now, second half of 2023, nice content there. Very, 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 the cinema industry is growing. So, OTT is all about to see the OTT. The cinema theatre is all about the cinema. Who is the show? Sir, sir. 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 Sir, so he liked the sound system, all those things. Actually, he cut the first port. He cut the 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 port.